Mr. Trouble never hangs around when he hears this mighty sound. Here I come to save the day. That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Yes, sir, when there is a wrong to right, Mighty Mouse will join the fight. On the sea or on the land, he gets the situation well in hand. So though we are in danger, we never despair, cause we know that where there's danger, he is there. He is there on the land, on the sea, in the air. We're not worrying at all, we're just listening for his call. Here I come to save the day, that means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Just listening for his call. Here I come to save the day. That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Eleven ish. Everybody, everybody, good morning. How is everybody this morning? I am really good this morning. I've not had much coffee, but I'm like hyper this morning i got up about 8 30 and i was like i've got to get out of the house i've got to get on stuff i've got to get out i've got to get on it i've got to do stuff last night was really cool we had um literally within hours we listed my dslr camera and it sold like gone poof, 450 quid like that although there was like loads of charges from left right and center which kind of crippled it a bit and kind of took it uh, took their life out of it a little bit for me but doesn't matter, sold it, it's gone, I've had like 18 months use out of it, I've had a lot of use out of the camera in terms of the lenses and everything else, I packaged it up this morning, like bubble wrap the crap out of it, um, put the fragile sticker on it and all that shit, and posted it out, it's gone, it's done, it's sorted, I've sent all the stuff to Ronster in terms of like things for the client, tracking, insurance, all that shit's done, so hopefully... The GoPro will go in the next couple of days, over the weekend or the next week, so I've got like two weeks to go... I've got enough money in there now to be able to get three flights. But I am not going to book the flights just yet. That would be me to go and book it and just like, yeah, 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 sorted, yeah, let's go. And then have no accommodation. So I think tonight we have another push to see how much more funding we can get in tonight on our evening show on, on Blab. Follow me, blab.im forward slash Phil Campbell to have a look for the link for tonight. We get together about 10 o'clock. GMT, 5 p.m. ish, 4 5 p.m. Uh, East Coast. I do the maths for West Coast because it's like I, pfft, my brain will collapse. Uh, but we're getting together tonight. I'm hoping to get some money for the GoPro. I need to get my bike, my electric bike, out of the shower. Yes, I know. Why am I storing an electric bike in a shower? Well, the shower is not really a shower. It's more like a green screen room. Oh my God, Phil, why have you turned your shower into a green screen room? Well, because the water in there was terrible. It was like, it was no good for taking showers. It was like the most piddling shower ever. There's a shower on site, which is really good, really hot and really warm. And it's like 50p and it's always ready to go. Whereas this, just like, it's weak source. It's the weakest source like shower in the universe. It's, uh, so I I scrapped that and just turned it into a green screen recording thing. And I'm halfway through it. But the problem is with showers, what I didn't know is that obviously it's like coated in a kind of what you call it. So I had to scratch the surface off of that and like like mark it so it takes, actually takes paint in there. So it took a lot of paint. But um, I've got video somewhere from when I did it about a year ago. I'll have to dig it out and post that. Right, a few topics. Let's get into a few topics. Um... So I sold the, sold the camera up to £1,000 now, which is awesome. Like, I didn't think we'd get over £1,000. I didn't even know if we'd actually get to the 1800 But now it's got this far, I think we're just going to snowball it. I always knew it would happen. I just didn't know how it was going to happen. That's kind of kind of scary how it was going to happen. Uh, I've got a few people in the chat I should say hello to. Uh, we have Chloe. Good morning, Chloe. Hope you're doing all right today. I've also got um, Megan in there this morning. We've also got... Who else have we got in here? We've got William in here this morning. Good morning, William. 
and we've also got Christy Lambert in here as well, the Lambie Poo. Welcome, good morning. Hope your Udemy courses and things are going well, because I remember you from the other day. I think you were in another another chat, I think. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing a bit of admin on my computer last night. I managed to clear... I've been having problems with Wirecast in terms of local recordings. There seems to be a bug in 605. It doesn't support El Capitan on the Mac, so it's been doing some really weird stuff in terms of recordings and like get really laggy and getting the audio out of sync so i got in touch with wirecast they told me to do a certain thing on my twitter account they said go into this go into the wirecast and click various things and it resets it and so i'm trying that but i also cleared down my hard drive last night because i I'd, I'd literally had like 20 gig left and this morning now i've got like 700 gig i literally cleared it down all the downloads, podcasts, everything, I've moved on to the 3 terabyte drive, away from the drive, just to give it some breathing room. There's one thing that's like a power tip if you're doing local video recording with Wirecast or any kind of like studio program. Make sure you've got loads of disk space. Don't like just have a small amount because it can't swap out and do stuff and write away files if there's no space or if it's constantly looking across the disk to do it. That's where the lag comes into it. So I'm hoping that this video works well this morning. Um... Another thing I want to tell you about, we have a Slack group, which is teamhumble.slack.com. Now, there's about eight or ten of us, probably a little less, actually, maybe seven of us in that group. We're like the steering committee. We're like the group that originally formed it. But yesterday, uh, Slack released something called groups, um, user groups. Now, I really like user groups because you can now... So, backtrack a little bit. We need to register... A domain name for us we haven't decided on the domain name yet but when we do that we're all going to get email addresses as that effectively company it's not a company because we're like a, a philanthropic bunch of misfits thrown together but we need to have email addresses megan at team humble whatever it is etc now when i do that we all sign back up with slack or we all use this new email address with slack we can start offering um, subscriptions or like groupings so if we meet people on blab that we like and we have different clients that we like i think it's a good idea to keep all of that inside of slack or in different channels in slack so with user groups i can set a user group for the existing people who are in there but also create user groups for like blabbers so when they come to sign up they can sign up they can pay using type form like putting their name putting their address make a payment for subscription payment if they want to be like a full user or a temporary user and it will automatically send them an email with all the login details and they can log in to a channel on our slack not all the channels and we can see them sign up and we can see them in there just a way of sustaining the whole team humble thing and growing it really i was thinking about the people in um new york city we're going to meet we're going to meet people who are sort of digital nomads we're going to pe meet people who've got an email address uh but don't have you know any social networks or etc so i was thinking wouldn't it be a great way to just invite people in to our group and to do that, they'd need an email address. So giving them an email address and an email account. And then the ones who could afford it, they pay a small subscription, either monthly or yearly. And that keeps our Slack going. But also we can build up the amount of access of Team Humble style people. That's what I was thinking. We keep maintain our groups and then have other, other little groups as separate from that. So playing around with that, that's kind of cool. User groups, Team Humble. Uh, got my buffer reinstated again yesterday. I was having problems with Postcron. So I'm working on today, literally from half 11 till 12, 30 images for, what was it now? 30 images for the uh, Team Humble stuff. What was it now? It was the, oh, God, I'll try and find it now. It was for the um, GoFundMe and it was for the um, Thunderclap. So the Thunderclap's got like two weeks to go on it. And Thunderclap is to push everybody to the fundraising page. So I've been working on that. I'm going to push out 30 images in Canva this morning. No, actually, I need 60 because I need two for each. No, 15 and 30. So 30 days for the fundraiser. No, actually, I won't even need that many. I need 30 in total, 15 of each. That's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, I've got that to do today. Uh, work on the Udemy course has been so damn slow. I've got to get my paid course out before next week. I am actually going back to uh, Subway on the 2nd, just for four hours, just to make sure I can still do it. But I've, I've actually said to her that I was going back. I've not had the green light yet about the project 
uh, the two projects from this charity that I went to this week in Winchester. So I'm sitting on like tender hooks about that, see what happens. Whatever happens, if I get one project or if they want to change the price or whatever, we're still going to NYC. It just it changes it a little bit in terms of what we can do when we're there, the ability of what we can do when we're there. But it'll, it'll cover stuff, it'll give us money. Um, and I'm really excited of working with the charity anyway because I'm loving Slack and I think if I can manage like interactions and connections and integrations inside of slack you know all oh, this is happening over here how can we bring it into slack so everybody's aware of it i can build plugins for that or find sites that plug into that there's like um integrations like zapier that like connects with over 200 different social services so i can get it connected up with anything really i've got to get my bike out i've got to take photos of that hopefully the gopro will go this week as well and I've been looking at I've been looking at all kinds of stuff to be honest over the last like 24 48 hours. I've been thinking about how to make our blabs a bit more interactive and a bit more like you know make them a little bit more snappy. So I've been thinking about using all the four wi- four windows in different ways, especially for 11ish because obviously I do 11ish on my own in the morning. Uh, let me lock that seat by the way just in case i do 11 ish in the morning on my own and the reason why i do that is i record it on here so that people can watch the playback but i also record it locally on my wirecast to upload to youtube so people can follow along with that so even though you're seeing a four by three shot i've got a 16 nine shot on youtube which is kind of cool so i've been thinking about these four windows i've been thinking about having the main one as like a talking head window a spare window for somebody to come in and talk but then i've also got like a team humble updates or one for a shop and one for the sort of network of blogs and feeds and everything. So there's always something going on on the actual 11-ish show. And then I could roll it out to all the different things I want to do. So Apri, Apri House will be the laser cutting company that I'm setting up. That is part of the sustaining part of uh, Team Humble. Because as money comes in for that, I've been thinking about subscription services and all sorts. I've, I've been having to literally reel myself in. But I think it could work really well. I've been looking at the Glow Laser... And I was panicking that I wouldn't be able to get in time to, to get the glow laser, but they've extended the period of time on that. So I'm like really like chomping at the bit to get one of those lasers in because I think with the existing clients I've got on Fiverr, I can make a number of items every day. And if I make a, a spare one, I can put those spare ones into a box and sell that as a subscription box every month, which would be really cool. So you get like loads of different laser cut things every month. So it might be like a, a fo- phone holder, or it might be a coaster, or it might be like a, a logo design. So I, I've just been looking at different boxes. You've got like food boxes, you've got like techie boxes, geeky boxes. And wouldn't it be cool to have like laser cut stuff delivered in different kinds of wood, you know. I saw a, a laptop stand yesterday that you could put together in like a couple of seconds that kind of folds together like that and then you can customize it with your name on it so loads loads of potential with that laser and and using blab to kind of i would have probably blab running all day in in apri i would have a main camera nest camera in a corner but i'd have two web cameras one looking at the laser so you can see the work being done on the laser and one looking at me doing the laser stuff and then the other two little spaces or one of the spaces could just have all the stuff that we're working on all the links all the graphics all of the blogs all of the the GoFundMe for like Megan's Walk and the stuff that we're doing, just running all the time. Because I think there's something really powerful about having a small business that sustains itself, that puts money money back into a uh, group of philanthropic like helpers, people, that can see the work going on. So you literally see the work in the laser shop going all day long. Instead of it just being an 11-ish, it, 11-ish would be like something that I do separately. Or I would just leave the, this up and start the recording for 11-ish and just change the windows to suit. So I'm kind of excited about that because I've been thinking about that for some time, how I'm going to actually make that work. Right, I've got five more minutes. Uh, da, 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 da. It's Friday, people. I can't believe it's Friday. I'm really happy about it's Friday for a number of reasons. One, I get to drink wine tonight and beer and hang out with the guys and, and listen to loads of music. Yes, I've got loads of Halloween music for tonight. Get in. It's going to be an awesome night. Although I don't have any makeup or anything like that. I'm not I'm not that far advanced with like hardcore stuff for that. But we have a BLNDP tonight, which is a Blab Late Night Dance Party. Uh, you should come to that. It's 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. we get together to do our Refresh Friday, which is Refresh Friday 3 tonight, which is going to be cool. And then we get together for late night dance party at 12 o'clock. I'm not quite sure what the time. It's going to be like 5 or... No, it's going to be 6 or 7 o'clock East Coast, I guess. So subscribe to that. What else do I want to tell you? I'm getting super damn excited about going to New York City. 
I haven't been back to New York for five years, like four or five years. I haven't even been back to America for four or five years. And I, I just can't wait to get back for the Korean barbecue, for nipping out in the morning and getting bagels with a big smear of like Philly and salmon on it. And like the coffee, the barista coffee like places and that crisp like ocean air that you get. Like I need the ocean air because I have asthma. So like just having that kind of, you know, like I fucking love that. So I'm really excited for that. I'm excited for go going with the girls because I think the girls will absolutely like be in their element. They'll love it. Um, be great to meet up with Dale. I'm absolutely super excited to meet up with Dale, obviously. Um, what else do I want to tell you about? Uh, so I've got to get the bike out, take photos of that. Uh, I've also been mocking up a little bit of a layout for what the site should look like. I've kind of been putting together all the the website stuff in terms of like using Share the Adventure, a thing, a think thing map, Wistia iframe embeds. Uh, you scan me for QR codes, so I'm going to order some moose stickers before we go, so we can put like QR codes on stuff, so people can scan it. Uh, people are saying I can't wait in the chat. I can't get excited yet. I need to focus, but oh my god, when it sinks in, ah, yeah, totally. I know what you're saying. It's crazy, but it'll be good. And I've also been looking at Team Humble in terms of um, a shop for you know t-shirts and hats and all that bling and merch and everything else and the reason why i'm doing that is i just think it's a good idea to sustain ourselves from lots of different ways but also i love making and designing stuff so all of the crew like are in some way like talented designers so we're having a store for stuff on it i think it'll be cool so i've been looking at drop shipping and how that works i've been looking at using uh gum road and i think it's called print printable print uh, printful so I found a way where I can upload products to a WordPress website, put the graphics in there, put a Gumroad button in it, click on Gumroad, it puts an overlay on it, so I don't need Shopify, so I don't need to spend money on Shopify or anything like that. Press the button, comes up, they order it through um, Gumroad. Gumroad's got a really nice iOS app, so you can see the sales come through. And then automatically, or automagically I should say, it moves the order to Printful, and Printful handle it. They just deal with like the, the canvases, the pictures. Uh, they even do, ladies, I have to put this in here. Oh my God, you are gonna die, right? This is something that I found looking the other day. You might have to take the thing off it. But uh, they even do leggings, like custom designed, your graphic printed on leggings. Oh my God, like I know the girls were like super excited about like printed leggings the other day, or at least Dale was. I know. Get, I can't believe it. It's like, what the hell? So they do all sorts of shit, right? So what what I really like about it is it kind of it kind of uh, it kind of sends the order over to Printful, and then Printful take care of it, and then you get it in like you know the the flyers and posters you get in a tube and all the packaging and everything, but you get an update from Printful saying it's dealt with. So it's just like perfectly drop shipped. You just take they you just put the things on the WordPress thing. They take the money, they take a part of the money, and job done. I, I'm just buzzed about how now you can, how now, how now, cow, how now you can literally just put stuff online and have somebody else take care of it. It used to be that it took forever. No, I haven't sent her that link yet, but she will die when she sees that because she'll be customizing and making her own things. I know that for a fact. Right, I think we're coming up to 20 minutes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably get going because I've got to do my washing up and i've got to clean i've got to like empty the toilet in the caravan i hate that job you have to open the door and pull it out and put it on the thing ah, i don't like it it's not a good job so don't forget tonight 10 o'clock um we still need help on the fundraising we're over a thousand pound now but we need to get 1800 we've pretty much covered all the flights now we need to have cover accommodation so like if you don't want us to be literally walking the streets for a week which could happen at this rate if we don't get the last bit of money in uh, go to gofundme.com forward slash humble nyc your donations will be awesome on that gofundme page scroll right down to the bottom that's where all the perks are so everything to do with like uh, pinterest strategies linkedin strategies twitter facebook st strategies i don't know if it's a pinterest one i don't know why i threw that one in there um there's loads of perks at the bottom so you don't just give a donation and don't know where it's going um Chloe and Dale are doing these amazing strategy packs. So if you want any sort of help with your social media or on any of those social services, like get in touch with those girls by getting the perk. They'll find out about the perk because I'll relay it back to them. Jobs are good and 
have a good day, more coffee, need some food, beer tonight, all the wine. Oh my God, we're going to NYC for the win, for the win. Bye guys.